Hello again, everybody. Uh, welcome to the 8060 rule. Uh, I'm Mark and uh, I'm 60. And I'm Greg and I'm 80. Nice to see you, Greg. Uh, likewise, Mark. What's on your mind? What's going on? What's Let's talk a little bit about sports, huh? Let's talk about the Cubs. All right. I think uh, just talk, talk about the Cubs there. Uh, if they're pitching the way they have been having different pitchers, well, hopefully next year two of those three, two or three of those pitchers out uh, to be winners. Yeah, they're certainly they're certainly you doing the numbers game. It's like let's throw as many young guys out there and see who uh, can come through for us. So it'll be that's always kind of you know I mean if you want to put a good spin on a on a dismal season, you see you you look at the young arms and see if anybody like you said can come through next spring and then uh, be productive next year. So uh, um, it, it, it'll be interesting to see because there's certainly enough of them. Yes, yes, it's interesting that two of those. It's interesting. That Farrow, his father uh, was a manager of the Red Sox. Who? Farrell. Oh, that's his father? John yeah. Farrell? Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, and cool. Kansas City. I think yeah. he's got the light hook, Mark Lytle, right? Yeah. Al Lytle's nephew or son, I can't remember now. Yeah, I can't remember either. Uh, there's a there's a, like a whole, uh, t like the Toronto uh, Blue Jays, their whole team is us. Uh, Second generation, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Biggio, um, Guerrero, Bichette. Uh, Bichette, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, it's 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 always cool when that happens, yeah, yeah. It was uh, uh, so they're looking good. The Sox, uh, well, last night they uh, it was 13 to nothing, okay. It was uh, interesting game, uh, uh, I, I uh. I questioned. Uh, I questioned. Uh, he he had a one hitter. I questioned. Uh, AJ Brzezinski said they should probably have walked him so he could get the. Uh, yeah, you're talking about Dylan Cease. Dylan Cease, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. the. Uh, uh, he's a lookalike. Who does he look like? I'm trying to think of who he looks like with the mustache. Oh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly, anyway, yeah. exactly. He had a no hitter going, and the the uh, uh, they had their best uh, hitter up. Uh, actually, the kid, the guy, I forget his name. Who's the guy who's leading the league in hitting? I I don't know his name. Yeah, and Brzezinski was saying I wouldn't let him beat beat you. Um, it's thirteen to nothing. You gotta you gotta you can't walk or you can't pitch around somebody when you're leading thirteen to nothing. You just gotta try and go for it and get him out. Yeah. So. Any it was a good one. Any, anyone's hearing our, our conversation here, I welcome your input. Uh, what would you have done? Yeah. When there's uh, what's interesting is they even get to that point because because uh, nowadays a lot of times with that pitch count, even if they have a no hitter, they'll take them out in the yeah. seventh or eighth inning. So yeah. his I think his pitch count was right around a hundred when all this was going it was, on. It was, it was. Yeah. So I was uh, just trying uh, to go between games. So I was going like different many different games here. Yeah, um, he he made a good pitch. It's just that the the you know the guy up to bat um um just beat him on that one. So it was it was exciting, but uh, um it's always tough when you lose. I always feel like I'm gonna jinx it. It's like I get an alert on my phone going, "Hey, there's a no hitter going on." I put it on, and then uh, all of a sudden I go like, "Oh man, you know, am I gonna be the yeah. guy that ruined it for him?" Because I yeah. It yeah. yeah I'm superstitious sure. like that. I'm sure, they're thinking about that. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it was on their mind. Yeah, exactly. It was Mark. Mark, that person. Where is he? Like, <laughs> you know, right. Uh, yeah. This Dylan C. I have no idea who who he was, where he came from. I think he's a. Uh, I think he's homegrown. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. He's. Yeah. He's been around a couple of years. He's. Uh, Definitely pretty. Uh, I saw him interviewed after after the game, and he's pretty good. I like him. I like him. Uh, let's get to the Bears. We'll we'll start. Uh, we'll see you next week. Where yeah, they're yeah. going. Where they're going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, San Francisco is good. They got. Uh, let's see how they can do with that. that uh, no, yeah, Debo Samuel, right? Yeah. Who's their quarterback? Uh, Lock. Lock. Yeah, is he is he any good? Yeah, he's starting. Yeah, they, that's why yeah. Jimmy G was going to, trying to get trying to get rid of Jimmy G. Right. I mean, I mean, I know that. Like, but he's I mean, good. It's, it's, he's it's, good. It's, he's this... supposed to be good. All right. All right. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
How about that? Uh, pardon our, we have not been negligent in discussing Chicago Sky. By la last year, they were champions. This year, in the third, uh, in the uh, game three, I think tonight. Uh, so uh, hats off to Chicago Sky. Yeah, they. Uh, I don't know anything about them. Other than I, when NBA game's over, I'm done with basketball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but uh, uh, yeah, good good luck to them tonight in representing. Uh, I was good luck with football and NFL. I don't want to watch something else. Like they uh, the other teams. Uh, uh, yeah. So um, let's talk about uh, the schedule. I like this. Do you like it? Uh, every team is going to play each other. At least, uh, well. Oh, MLB. Baseball. MLB schedule, yes. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's I like it a, too. Uh, because I get in, I don't know what's happening in Paris. You get Arizona, you can see Arizona playing, you see Colorado playing, Seattle. I have no idea who these guys are. Right. Right, because you play them so infrequently. And yeah. also, it, it goes the other way. Like, there's plenty of times where you play – um, I, I mean, every year you, you play your own division and you kind of get tired of seeing, uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly right, you know, yeah, yeah right. So, and again, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like the all star game, the guy went from Seattle was the one that won the home run, uh, derby. I mean, I never right. heard of the guy, right? Right, that's usually the case for us here or if anybody on the east coast, it's like you get no clue who's on Seattle. You, you know, you're not really sure who's on Arizona, you know, I mean, and, and then, uh, but yeah, so this will kind of balance, well, it's going to balance it out 100%. It'll be, it'll be good for baseball, it'll be good for fans too, to see some, there's some great base. Yeah, right. Without that home run derby, I wouldn't even know who this guy is up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, uh, and it gives teams, other teams a chance to see Otani and, uh, and trout and things like that as they uh you know travel around the country. And that Otani, I, I gotta tell you, I know he's really not getting the, the uh, I guess if he was in New York, it would be more publicity, but he that's fantastic what he's doing. Yeah, what he's doing is just crazy. He's leading his <laughs> team in every pitching category and every hitting category. He has uh, I think 30 home runs. I forget, you know, 30 like never been done before, like right. number of ribbies and then right. home runs. Yeah, it's Average. Babe Ruth type of stuff with the uh, the pitching and yeah, the hitting yeah, 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 type yeah. of stats. Yeah. Um, what I like about him is uh, he's great, like meaning he's like a gentleman. He's like, you know, goes up, he says hi to the ump before they start the game. Um you know, I mean, he's uh, he he hands his stuff to the bat boy instead. Of, I don't know these like the little things are impressive. I love it. You know, uh, and the other thing with him is he never misses a game. I mean, we got players who you know, you know, blister here or they got a little twinge here, and then they're out for three weeks. This yeah. guy is doing both, and he he's in the lineup every night. I think it's uh he, like he pitched yesterday. I'm sure he'll be in the lineup. Uh, hitting today, so he's. Uh, it, it's interesting you mentioned something. I want to make a comment on that about the injury, how part of the game, but how the press knows, people know who gets injured every other week. Who knows what? Who gets the press? People know who gets injured every other week. Like like again, you know, like right. like again, you know, right, right. Now what, you know? Yeah, and I get it. I mean, I get it. You know, you're a fine-tuned instrument. You're an athlete and everything like that. I so get it. But why can you have a sport like uh, like hockey where they bang each other around and they never get a twinge or, a, a you know, a, a, a muscle spasm? They just, you know, but baseball players, you know, they, uh, you know, they, they get the uh, – I don't know, I, like just fatigue or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. And you know, Mark, it's interesting as I'm thinking this. Uh, football is my sport. I love football. Yeah. But it's interesting how violent it is. My gosh, they're hitting each other hard. Uh, lifespan of a running back is about, what, four years? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of who is, I'm thinking he's a Penn State guy. The Giants. 
Uh, is he ever going to come back to be what he was at Penn State in his first year? You know, he gets people get injured. Oh, because yeah, yeah, right, yeah. It's a it's short, a uh, yeah. It's it it's 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 a tough league. They've they've done their best to uh, kind of um, not. I don't want to say clean it up, but uh, um, still try to keep the sport, the spirit of the sport, but keep it a little safer. And the plays, the ability is is tremendous, but it's like, why you get hit, boy? Whoa. Uh, yeah, you know. yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, I like to talk a little bit about Yadier Molina. Yadi, all right. Yadi Molina. Why I like to talk about Yadi or Molina is because I think he's one heck. He's all of, all of fame, obviously, all of fame. Uh, ten All Star games. He's retiring this year. Ten All Star games. Nine Golden Gloves. Two World Series titles. And I believe, and within the next year, he'll be a manager. Or a team next year. He manages it in, uh, in the uh, where he comes from, and I think he's going to be a manager. And I predict because I don't see. I think that Washington Nationals has got to make some changes. Oh yeah, Davy Martinez. Yeah, and I think maybe Martinez is going to go, and it would be a perfect fit for both Molina. He's not in the same division. He doesn't want to be playing against the Cardinals. Yeah. Do you? Imagine so you don't think he'd manage for the Cardinals? Well, they got the good guy there. You can't get the guys. Uh, uh, they bumped him up from uh, the manager. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, um, but I mean, I mean, maybe he won't. Ma I agree with you that he's manager material, but maybe you think maybe he'd take a year or two off and then get back into it. That's a possibility. Know? That's a possibility. But you know, uh, yeah. he's got a good rapport with uh, you. Watch, you watch his uh, behavior or whatever. Oh, he's definitely the boss out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's probably managing him right now. The, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. but. But not to diminish uh, what's his name, uh, 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 the manager they have, the young guy. But uh, uh, yeah, the way you know, he he would definitely control your pitching staff. Uh, you know, if he was a manager, and he know talk about knowing game situations. Yes, you know, yes, yes, which yes. is which is usually when when managers overmanage is when they start messing around with the bull, bullpen unnecessarily. I would trust Yadi uh, uh, more than just about any other current manager out there although i like boone and uh with the yankees he's pretty good at the, and ross with the cubs um you know not having a lot to work with but seems like catchers make great managers doesn't it yeah 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 what do you do though with uh aaron boone with the, the, the yankees i got some buddies that are yankee fans and so i watch them i pay attention to the yankees i know they were really good but as a team they're now they're not that good yeah, they're other not than, yelling. They're another one on paper. They should re really. Well, other than Aaron Judge Stanton, who are the, who are they? Uh, Does it do well? Who uh, Hicks? Yeah, Fields. Hicks, Hicks. No, uh, Bader is uh, not there yet. Bader and Rizzo's been hurt a little bit now with his back flaring up. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, no, their catcher is pretty good. What's his name? Trevino or whatever. Yeah, uh, Lemayhu, but Lemayhu has has had his days. Yeah, he's had his days. I wouldn't and mind Donaldson, him. And Donaldson, team. no. Huh? Yeah. So yeah, I got it. you're you're right. I'm going to count them out now. You're right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's uh, but they got uh, Garrett Cole, and they've got uh, um, uh, uh Verino. Yeah, him, him. The Mets are the ones who are going to be pretty with the, with Degrom and. Uh, Scherzer in the playoffs. That'll be really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, and I like, I like, I, I think I like no nonsense players, managers, and I like Buck Showalter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he, uh, Showalter doesn't miss a thing. Uh, yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. So I like Judge Dave, 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 Dave Roberts with the Dodgers. I like him too. He doesn't. I like miss Dave him. Roberts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ross, I like, but because it was was he Theo's man from the beginning? Um, should he have been the manager? I'm just saying that. Well, I I think he does a good job, uh, but you know you gotta you know, look at this. He's had if you, let's count the players. It's probably over 500 that he's had to deal with over the last two years. I you know I look at the I don't even know who these guys are now. So. 
Um, I just said they're a little bit more interesting than they were last year, but uh, he hasn't had a uh, a steady lineup to play with just because of uh, blowing up the team and and in, ineffective and all that. So yeah, I think he's yeah. good with the young guys. So we'll see what happens there. What are you drinking? What is that? What do you? That's coffee. My coffee. A little coffee. All right. Good. All right. What else? Um, let's talk about uh, a person after 50 years as a dedicated public servant to this country. It's Dr. Anthony Fauci is retiring. Oh, right. I don't know where you're coming from, but uh, he was a good public servant. He did a good job. He kept trying to keep us informed about COVID. Um, where they had some problems, but his heart is in the right place. Oh, absolutely. He was a public. He was a public servant so long for so long that he was a public servant before they were uh celebrities before they were public servants though but it's like you carried away with it no before they were celebrities meaning he did his yeah. job for 48 of those years we didn't yeah. even know him you know he came from reagan from reagan from the right his administration all that, yeah. right yeah so uh uh yeah i agree with you uh uh you know Congratulations on a on a fantastic and career. And he, he made me realize, like, I I don't know anything about infections and all that. I don't, you know, that's not my field at all. But uh, you don't. Uh, no, what I'm saying is like to appreciate all those viruses, to appreciate all that. It's like uh, it's something. From, uh, right. Right. It's 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 an in and it's it's an inexact science that you have to make. Exact, meaning you have to make decisions based on the fact that it's inexact, which is which is really hard to do in terms of uh, um, all these variations and things like that. And not even, you know, I start talking about I, I probably sound like a, a bozo, but, uh, you know, from from way back till then till now, he's been involved in every anything he could do to protect, uh, you know, us as a as a um, society. Right. So, yeah. And yeah. Uh... Yeah, he's just done a, a great job in more, more awareness of, of the uh, illness. Yeah. 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 How about uh, okay, let, let's, uh, let me read you this. I think this is, this is shame, shameful, totally unnecessary, in my judgment, but that's Putin. Uh, the military, the civilians in Ukraine, uh, wow. 5,500 confirmed dead. Number of ref uh, refugees, 6.6 .6 million people. Military losses, 9,000 Ukrainians, 25,000 Russians. So unnecessary. It never had to be. Right. For what? Yeah. Because one person, one person, in my opinion, is upset that Russia is not the same as we used to be when Khrushchev was there. Right. Yeah. I, and I share your opinion. It's one person. Calling the shots and his and his ego wanting to uh, be this uh, you know it's it's twenty twenty two you know we don't it, 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 you know rolling tanks into somebody's country because you're going to construct some sort of uh, um, excuse for it you know it seems so two centuries ago you yeah. know yeah yeah it's ridiculous and it, like you said it's so unnecessary. Right. Um, uh, I know that, uh, you know, the country, you know, our country here, United States is accepting um, or welcoming, I guess I should say, uh, um, you know, refugees and, and uh, um, uh, you know, children who needed to start up school uh, are now, you know, being um, blended in. The Midwest is big for, for that because there's big Ukrainian population here. So, uh, you know, even as we speak, we don't quite realize it, but there's, uh, unless you have contact with somebody in, in those situations, but there's schools that are starting up right now that are welcoming Ukrainian children, students in, who speak zero English, and, and it's just going to be the good nature of those teachers and also of their classmates. And of our society, of our country. Too. Yeah, that, that's going to, and not in just other us, country, in other In other in countries, countries right. That Then that's the... Um, that's the good news story out of all those. How many uh, refugees did you say out of all those um, scurrying the country? Uh, uh, 6.6 .6 million. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a drop in the bucket 
So that's why you need every country to participate um, to uh, to somehow um, ease the pain and the burden that they have. Right. Not, right, to, get right. Too, not to get too serious, but that's, a, you know, that's a it's a huge um, number and unnecessary, like you said. Yeah. Um, how about let's get something that's a uh, amusing. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Willie, all right. Willie Go Nelson. My man, Willie right. Nelson. Uh, now, let me just say, I wasn't, I watched the movie, but I wasn't like, joining them and all that. Willie Nelson, his, his house had a fire years ago, and he did two things. He ran into the fire to get two things. His guitar and his marijuana. <laughs> right, Willie. Those are All his right. priorities, right? Right. <laughs> I wonder if it was in that order: his guitar and uh, and his stash. Uh, uh, All right, good for Willie. He's got. He's still. I would read. I read an interesting article on him. He's still around. He's still doing concerts. Yeah, I know uh, his. Uh, he's. Uh, uh, weak with the voice, but uh, he's still. Uh, um, uh, I admire that. I really love uh, uh, musicians who uh, who carry on. There's no rules. Do it as long as you can. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. It's interesting though. You say the the voice because I'm not equipped enough to know how when the voice is goes. Uh, oh no, I don't. I don't mean that his voice. When I meant that he he has a little trouble breathing. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, um uh not 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 the strength of the voice. It's Willie Nelson. It's just you know there that's a that's a sound. Um, but uh, as far as I, I I just meant like whatever he's got respiratory going on. Uh, you know he 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 labors a little bit, but you know it's still his it's still him and his voice yeah. and his words. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 And may, and maybe the uh maybe the weed is helping him uh, you know, I'm sure it's helping him uh oh, helping him cope. Yeah, helping him cope. But he's been coping yeah. <laughs> with, with that for 70 years probably. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that's the secret to his success. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And his guitar, his guitar. Yeah. Uh BB King called his his guitar Lucille. I don't know does Willie have a name for his? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I just know. remember it's got a hole in it. That's all I remember. Remember we had it is a discussion you know, a couple of weeks ago that some people with their baseball their gloves. Yeah. They name their gloves or bats, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Or they sleep with their bats or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's uh uh this is something from the London mayor. I, I question why they have to these are I don't want to say cheap shots, but uh the London mayor in 2017. Ban on, on a fast food restaurant within 400 meters of the school. 400 fast food meters, okay. The school, uh, like, why are you why are you singing them out? You know, uh, yeah. You're trying to send a message that you shouldn't have fast food. Is that what you're? you're like, no, is yeah, that no, what it's yeah. about? Is it about? Yes, it's like, got to be. What is going to be right? Well, all I was thinking about uh, is it a hangout for the kids, so they're trying to keep them away from. I don't know, but it, it could. You're probably right. It's probably about healthy eating, right? About right. all right. Yeah, that seems a little uh uh heavy handed to to say this one's okay, but that one's not okay. Yeah, that's what I say. That's what I think. Yeah. 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 I was thinking because I know that there are some places around school that limit the amount of I've been in places where they limit the amount of students that are allowed in, like after yeah. school, you know, just so you can maintain right. some sort of I can understand that. Yeah. 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 This is you can't even open one up. Yeah, uh, it's like a bar next to a church type of thing when they do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another. Uh, I've gotten some. Did you know things that I like to say to the talk about? Four hundred forty-four lightning strike deaths, uh, as reported by the Center for Disease Control. Four hundred forty-four in a year. Uh, no, from two hundred six to to two thousand twenty-one. Excuse me. 2006 to 2021, 444 lightning strike death. Wait, 20, so that's like 15 years? Yeah. 444. I, you saw those three right by the White House, right? Three or four right Where? by the White House? Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, there was three oh. or four right by the White House. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there were some tourists, I think, from Wisconsin. Um, I was uh, always trying to confirmation of regarding the lightning. You say, got to go get near, you know, go watch where you're going. But, yeah. Right? So is that a lot? 444 for 15 years? Well, I guess if you break it down, but still for even one. I guess, I guess for them, for those 444, it was probably say, a yes, lot. Yes, it is. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. It's always nerve wracking. Um, uh, I know communities do a pretty good job now of like, because I always think of like sports, like the kids out there, you know, playing on the field. And you got the metal big fences going on and yeah. the, all this stuff or bleachers, metal bleachers. That's what I always think about. But they do a pretty good job of sign, sounding those alerts because the technology is there to be. I got a thing on my phone where I get a, a an alert that tells me how close lightning is or whatever. Um, but then I'm thinking maybe if I hold my phone up, that's going to attract the lightning. So I should toss the phone. Yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Let me... Um... Another comment here I like to make is, uh, uh, and I talked to UPS on this too. I went over there. Oh, you postal did. Service, postal service drivers sick and hospitalized for meat exposure. Um, uh, it's 2015. At least 270 UPS postal service drivers and service uh, and UPS and postal service drivers sick and hospitalized from meat exposure. Yeah. I see them coming, you know, and they come run into the knock on people's doors and they run out. And, uh, hey, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. It's interesting. Things yeah. that you don't even, we don't even think about. We don't even think about that. Right. Yeah. When it's hot, when it's hot like that. And also they've got that, um, that anxiety or that pressure where they can't pause. If they pause, it sets them back in their route. Exactly. Exactly. And now I'm, uh, I know about UPS. You got to sign off on uh, that you're receiving something. They just anything. Uh, yeah, they used to just leave it there. UPS leave, uh, anything now? They don't. Well, they, the 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 package at least the come the business I do. Uh, uh, you have to sign on that you. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think that's for anything because they. Well, I, I just know with what in that business that I'm in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay? All right. All right, yeah, that's uh, that that is something you don't think about, though. I mean, it's been hot. Mark, Mark, yeah, yeah. Uh, not here. I'm not seeing you. I'm not here. It is. Here it okay, is. we're back. You froze yeah. too, so we're okay. Okay. We're talking about hot, and it froze. That's ironic. Okay, okay. Um, global warming. Global oh. warming. All right. Fruit production major contributor to global warming. Clearing of forests of land for crops or grazing. It's been another way of. Um, Global warning. Something. Um, yeah. How many? Yeah. How many ways it can? Yeah, it's worldwide this. too. Now, have you seen the drought situations all over the world? I mean, it's yeah. not just it's not just Lake Mead. I mean, you look, you know, you can see uh, all over the world. This this uh, well, of yeah. course, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the world is round. But. Um, let me. Um, let me say also another one here I like to talk about. Um, in San Francisco, yeah, this is this is uh, not right. This is not right. Priorities of people. Drug overdoses kill more more people than twice as many as coronavirus in twenty twenty. Wow, wow. What the heck are we doing? Yeah. Uh, what the heck are we doing? Wow. I wonder how many of those are uh, prescription drug overdoses. I don't know. I don't wow. Know. Yeah, it's uh, that uh, fentanyl and everything, right? Yeah. You can't say never, never. You never know what to have with. Somebody has to face you know, uh, pain, uh, right? And they, they Yeah. Well, we, we've, uh, um, let me ask you a question. We've got about 10 minutes left, but let me ask you this question. Um, what's the street since you grew up in Philly? What's the, there's a street in Philly that's become, that's become infamous for uh, the open air. I, I don't know if you call it open air, but wide out in the open drug use 
uh, and just, you know, like zombies walking the street. Lexington, does that sound familiar? Oh, Lexington Square, let me see. I don't know. In Philly? I'll, I'll look that up. But not. Yeah, look it up. You, coming from there, uh, look it up. You're going to be, uh, it'll it'll sadden you because uh, uh, I was in San Francisco a couple of years ago and I, I it, it was, um, it was shocking uh, to see the uh, open use of of drugs out there as you're walking around the the uh, town. So it, it's a huge deal, and you know, I mean, I don't want to, you know, sound like uh, like I've got answers because I don't have answers. I just want to say that uh, that's a huge situation. That yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Where are they going to be when they're twenty? Where they're going to be when they're forty? Right, uh, right. Yeah, it's a, uh, it, there's a generation that is, uh, um, you know, experiencing it um, in um, disproportionately than than other age groups. Uh, 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 you know, the drug drug overdoses. Um, it's uh, everybody knows somebody. I've got yes. I've got I know people. You know, so um, you know who are immediately affected by that. So it's uh, uh it, you know, it's, it's root, root cause issues where you got to figure it out, you know. And since you said that, this is, I could be asking this question, but if you're homeless, okay, is there an address that you have? No. So do you never get any mail? No, that's the least of their concern. What are you talking about? Yeah, right. no, 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 no. You don't get the Pottery Barn catalog when you're homeless. Right. Right. You know, well, uh, a parent would never know, would never get a hold of a. No. 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 Yeah. No, you just, you know, although, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. They think, you know, they've got, this is how you get in contact. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Why don't we go to the New York Times for the quiz, okay? Let's do the quiz. All right. All right. Let's go to the quiz. Justice Department is said to have retrieved about how many classified documents for former President Donald Trump if he left office. Three, 30, 130, 300, or 3,000. Well, I thought it was 11,000. Maybe I'm thinking of total sheets of paper. Um Give me the give them again, real quick. Three thirty, one thirty, three hundred, three thousand. Three thirty. Three hundred. Three hundred. That's what I meant. Okay. A car bugging, bombing outside of Moscow killed uh, a Russian TV anchor commentator. She was known as a vocal supporter of what? The Westernization of Russia, LGBTQ rights, international nuclear disarmament. Preemptive nuclear strikes of all NATO capitals, nationalism, and war with Ukraine. Uh, LGB, was that it? No. No. All right. You looked at me like you're disappointed that I had that answer. Sorry. No. I, what is it the first one? No. What was the first one? Uh, Westernization of Russia. Oh, it's got to be Ukraine then. Yes. Nationalism in the war with Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, didn't, Lou, didn't Louisville, wait, Kentucky. Back to that though. Didn't Putin's girlfriend get get uh, assassinated, or am I thinking something else? No, that his girlfriend is his friend's daughter, the oligarch's daughter. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. All right. A uh, for, uh, former Louisville, Kentucky police detective pleaded guilty this week to doing what? Mislead the judge who authorized the police raid to kill Brianna Taylor. One, cleaning evidence at Miss Taylor's apartment. Two, helping the family search warrant application. No, I'm no, 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 no. helping falsify search warrant application. Lying to reporters about Miss Taylor's former boyfriend. D, surveilling Miss Taylor without a warrant. E, tapping her phone. I think it was falsifying the search warrant. Correct, beat. correct. Yeah. The Biden yeah. administration announced that it would forgive up to how many in student loans? Go in the blank. 20,000, 25, 30, 50, or 100,000. I thought it was 10,000. No. You that told me that the other day as we were talking. You told me 20,000. Oh, it's 20. Okay. All right. 
The Hungarian government fired two weather officials this week after they <laughs> actually predicted a severe storm <laughs> because of which event to be postponed. Costume parade for Hungarian Greyhounds, St. Stephen's Day fireworks, the Budapest Marathon, the Franz Liszt Music Fest, a birthday picnic for Prime Minister Viktor Orban. <laughs> this all sound made up. Uh, it's got to be the last one because he's a he's a goofy guy, so it's got to have something to do with him. Fireworks, St. Stephen's fireworks. Oh, all right. Which artist is currently holding a 15 show? Oh, wait, they fired the they fired the weatherman. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. When, you're, when your name is Orban, you can do what you want. You yeah, know? right. It's like Putin. <laughs> yeah. Which artist is currently holding a 15-show residency at Madison Square Garden in New York City? Harry Styles, Celine Dion, Fish, Taylor Swift, Beyonce. Man, this is something that I would normally know. Something stupid like this I would know. Uh, it's not Harry Styles, right? Uh, yes. yes. It is? All Who right. is he? Uh, he's he's. Uh, uh, I never. I mean, I read about him now, but I forget. Yeah, he was in a he was in a, a British uh, boy band. I can't remember. I think it's called One Direction, maybe or something like that. I don't know. But uh, he's like the big, uh, uh, it, it it guy right now. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, Doctor Anthony Fauci. You know, we discussed him. Yeah. What was he the head of? He was in a boy band too uh, yeah. in the uh, mid 70s. Okay. Democratic House candidates have outperformed President Biden's share of the vote in the four special elections. Democrats have, have outperformed President Biden's share of the vote in four special elections since what occurred. A. Mr. Biden signed Democrats' climate and health care bill. Do B. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. See the six month mark of the war in Ukraine. He doubts or Fauci announced he would leave the government. E, the FBI raids raided Mr. Trump's Florida home. Well, I, if you if I'm understanding you right, it's Roe v. Wade is right, right. Lead, leading the uh, yeah the the um, wave. Yeah, now this one I I didn't, I didn't get this. Uh, Chinese right. censors altered the ending of which movie, making one of the villains a good guy and the dead of father of three. Elvis. Fight Club, Minions, The Rise of Gru, or Top Gun, Maverick. Read the question again. Chinese senses altered the ending of which movie? Top Gun. No. Oh, what? The Rise of Gru. Really? Yeah. It's a, it's a cartoon. It's a yeah. cartoon, The Minions. Hey, you've got about uh, uh, a little over a minute left. Um, how about if we just say hello, goodbye? Huh? Yeah, but mm -hmm. okay. Um, so I don't know anything about that Minions movie, The Rise of Gru, but I'm gonna have to find out why they would have to alter the end of a cartoon in China. Uh, makes me makes me wonder uh, what the ending was. I'll do some research on that. Uh, anyway, it was uh, uh, a uh, pleasure, uh, Mark. It's been fun. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. Uh, we found out that Dr. Fauci was in a boy band. And uh, we solve the Cub and Sox problems. And then uh, in the coming weeks, we'll solve the Bears problems too, right? Yeah. Hopefully they're good problems. Right. Hopefully. All right. I will talk to you later. Always a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening. Bye. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to you. And then... Five minutes, I'll send you another Five one, minutes. okay? Can I tell you something? Yeah. yeah. How about if I call you on the phone so I can end this? Yeah.